Welcome! Today we are going to be walking through how to care for your bearded dragon so they are happy and healthy. To start, let's cover some basic information about your bearded dragon, such as how long do they live and how big do bearded dragons get. It is important to note that they have an average lifespan of 10 years and with proper care can live up to 15 years or more. Also, if you get your bearded dragon as a baby, they are small to start, but when full grown adults, they can get up to two feet long. Another aspect to consider before getting your bearded dragon is to locate a reptile savvy veterinarian that will see your pet. It is recommended that your new bearded dragon receives a complete physical examination when you bring them home. After that, you should have your pet examined by a veterinarian every six to 12 months and as soon as any signs of illness are noted. The following signs to keep an eye out for include but are not limited to, runny or decreased frequency in droppings, weight loss, reluctance to move, discharge from the eyes, nose, or mouth, discolored skin, or an increase or decrease in basking time. Next, let's cover what your bearded dragon should be eating. Young bearded dragons are omnivorous, consuming approximately 50% insects and 50% plant matter. As they mature, they will eat more vegetables and transition to mostly herbivorous, consuming approximately 90% plant matter. Now let's break down their diet a bit further. For insects, you will want to feed them gut-loaded insects such as crickets one time a day. Gut-loading feeder insects refers to the practice of feeding them a highly nutritious diet before they are used as food for other animals. This process typically involves feeding the insects a combination of fruits, vegetables, grains, and specially formulated gut-loading diets. The insects consume and store these nutrients in their digestive system, which then gets passed on to the animals that consume them. It is best for the insects to be live, as dead insects typically do not have nearly as much nutritional value as live insects. Plus, bearded dragons love the thrill of the hunt. Mealworms, superworms, and waxworms should only be offered in small amounts. For juveniles, you will also want to dust their food with calcium or vitamin D3 powder four to five times a week, and for adults, two to three times a week, or as directed by your veterinarian. A multivitamin should be offered once weekly with juveniles and once every other week for adults on a day they do not receive the calcium supplement. You can also offer them fresh dark leafy greens, carrots, and squash daily while fruits like melons and berries may be offered once a week. You may also give them bearded dragon pelleted food daily which should be moistened with water. And of course, fresh water from multiple sources should always be made available within the habitat. In nature, many lizards roam their territory much of the day looking for food items, potential mates, invaders, or shelters, essentially actively working to survive. In captivity, you provide everything they need. It is essential to stimulate their minds and bodies. You can do this by rotating the variety of food provided and even hiding it throughout their habitat. Along with that, you can add different textures to climb and explore within their habitat to support their total health. Bearded dragons can make great pets if cared for properly. Often called beardies by their owners, these pets enjoy spending time with and getting attention from their pet parent as they bond. When petting your bearded dragon, make sure to avoid positioning yourself directly over their head as they feel threatened by movement coming from above them. Then start stroking the head and sides of the face or pet from head to tail with gentle pressure. That wraps up our basic care guide for bearded dragons. Thank you for listening and make sure to check out PetSmart for all the essential items for your bearded dragon.